so hello youtube so today we're gonna talk about the plugin all-in-one wp migration so here we're gonna talk about how to import export and also how to increase import size up to one terabyte so let's get started so you guys all can see this is my plugin this is a brand new website so i can show you yeah so you here you can see my import size is 128 mb so what i'm gonna do uh i will delete everything um let's do from scratch so there are lots of plugin install so let me deactivate all of them delete okay so i will show you with the latest plugin first so I'm gonna activate this plugin okay let's check import size so here you can see the upload size is maximum 128 gb this is not enough for uh, work one website it should be minimum around 1 gb or 500 mb at least so we gonna increase this size up to terabyte so let me show you one by one i found uh, one interesting article regarding this and every detail is there so let me show you uh, yeah uh, maximum upload size to terabyte mp to terabyte okay on meantime i can i will i will delete this plugin let's deactivate first delete So here you can see the size of this plugin should be uh, 131027 is 131,000 approximately. So let's increase, let's follow the steps one by one. So it's saying, yeah. So first we need to download this plugin. Just click over here. Let's do that. Let's go. Okay, then we need to upload this plugin. Then we need to change this file. Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna do upload this plugin first here is i'm on upload size okay install let's activate this plugin let's see the size now this is the older version a 6.77 version so now we're gonna change this value in terabyte so we need to go to the first in plugin editor here you can see go to plugin and editor so it's uh, saying that okay just put on i understand select the plugin you want to edit i'm selecting 
WP migration go to the constant.php file so guys uh, I will added this link on my YouTube description so you can download this plugin so let's go to the max file size which will be around 300 something let me go there is in on my side is it is on line number 284 so what i will do i will make this one to 56 so this is a file name uh, max file size so this line this line we need to change one so just put 56 over here and that's it all is done okay just save this update this one okay let's check now see this one three one zero two zero seven two terabyte is a lot we can uh, edit this file uh, in according to our need so let's suppose I need something like in GB okay so we can do like this uh, let me show you go to the plugin editor go to all in one wb migration select so if you are okay with the terabyte size that is okay but i will show you how to change in like uh, uh, 50 gb or 500 gb like that So it was like uh, 2 and 28 so we will change this one to like power of 2 okay so like 2 power 4 8 16 32 64 like that so I will change this to 2 0 uh, let's apply anyone okay zero for it let's do this so two zero for it and 28 so this will show you around some some kind of GB so let's check this one so see it's around 5 12 GB so this one is i think enough for us so if you want double of this size you can just multiply two with this number so let me open my calculator because i'm not good with math okay 2048 into 2 okay it's 4096 40 Nine six. Okay, let's update this one. Let's see if there's this one. Yeah, it's double. Like one zero two four GB. Still is not in terabyte, but it's terabyte. But we need to make double of this one. Let's do. One more double. Eight one nine zero. The file is successfully. Okay, let's refresh this page. Now it's two terabyte. So just no need to do anything. Just double this number. That's it. Let's do two and fifty-six. 
let's try something else like 56 56 2 10 1 12 let's check this one it will be like all of number now size is unlimited <laughs> oh my god so i don't want unlimited right now so 56 is enough for me this looks good yeah so according to this yeah this article is awesome and uh, size is definitely equal to 131072 okay so yeah this is working so uh, what you can do with this plugin let's talk about this plugin uh, you can first take backup of all of your data so let me show you how it work so you can uh, give access uh, you can export data to in any in, like dropbox file and uh, mega there are so many is there ftp mostly people use ftp but i recommend this this version file so you can take backup in file format let me show you how so this will take few times around two to three months this depend on your file Mine is nothing is added. We want you can skip the video. I'll just wait. And this one is the best plugin to take backup so i usually use this plugin for take backup so now backup is done and you can download the file now file is take a backup suppose i i did something wrong on my website or i put some virus or something like that or anything so we can i have already taken the backup this file so now i will show you how to import this file so I will click on import from file and I will select this one it will take similar time like two minutes maximum If you have big website the backup size will be like in gb 1 gb 2 gb this will work only if you download this one from here this is a special version I tried to download this version from another website but it didn't work properly so this one is only working you can make it unlimited by double doubling this number so this one saying 
it will change all your, your media database please do not close the, this browser window or import will fail you know Now backup is done. Uh, this one is working. So thank you guys. If, if you have any question, you can put on comment. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.